Hello and welcome back to my channel. For this video, I have three cards using the Hive 5 kit from Lawn Fawn. To start, I am going to use my honeycomb stencil, and I have cut out a large stitched rectangle from Lawn Fawn, and I am going to ink this honeycomb stencil on it with three Distress Oxides all in yellow shades. So I have Scattered Straw, Fossilized Amber, and Wild Honey. Now, for this, I'm mostly using this little... You know, I wanted to give this some kind of descriptive name. I don't know. This little one right here that kind of looks like a flower. And I did this one because I wanted some amount of white still left. So I did want an occasional white hexagon every once in a while. You'll see me move the stencil around a lot in kind of weird ways. I wasn't sure exactly what pattern I wanted. And this is not easily duplicatable if that makes any sense. Like I've, I made since this card, two additional cards, which you will see, and they all look slightly different. The goal here is just to get some honeycomb pattern on the background in various spots, but still leave a decent amount of white. Once I have added enough of my lightest color, I'm gonna go back in with my middle color and I'm just adding little individual hexagons here and there, filling in the little white spaces and just adding to what I already have. This color doesn't look a whole lot different than the first color I laid down, but that's fine, there is a subtle variation to it. And then finally, I'm gonna go in with my darkest color and I'm gonna do the exact same thing, just repeating with the darkest color. I am adding some little individual honeycomb shapes outside of the main block of the honeycomb just to make it more interesting. Now that I'm done with my stenciling, I'm going to take my lightest and my darkest shade of Distress inks and I'm going to water them down and then splatter my background. This again, just adding a little bit of additional interest. Now here is the stamp set that's included in that kit, and I have stamped out some bees and the hive. To color my hive, I have my YR markers, and these are YR31, YR24, and YR27. I will tell you, me personally, I find this YR combination to be one of my most used combinations because it makes really good breads, it makes good critters, it makes good honeycomb in my opinion <laughs> um, I've used it for like cheese and stuff on pizza just switching out the lightest color and adding a different yellow but yeah I kept my shading mostly to the bottom of each of the little individual lines of the hive and then for the little opening of the hive I colored it all in with my darkest color but then here I bring in my E99 to try to darken it up just in the center of that and then I went back over it with my darkest YR marker and then I still didn't feel like it was quite dark enough so I brought in some E19. That color was actually a little bit bright but I just went back over it with my E99 and it kind of made it a little less bright. Here I'm using some various yellows for my bees and one of the things that I wasn't sure when I started coloring this because this is all the first time I've colored it is I wasn't sure if I should do the heads yellow or black because Really, the bees' heads would be black, but I felt like they looked a little silly maybe being black. I don't know. I didn't go full black. I went with my dark C markers because I still wanted to be able to see the facial features. They were a little bit hard to see, so I did go in with a black fine liner just to make them pop just a little more. So now that I have my images colored and cut out, I am going to take this sweet, scripty sweet dye from Lawn Fawn. This was not included in the kit and I have die cut this twice. I'm going to color one of them with my C8 marker, mostly because I don't really have a lot of black cardstock 
and this will be sort of the shadow behind the white one. Now to add to the rest of my sentiment, I'm going to use one of the stamps from that same stamp set and I'm going to put your and then I'm going to stamp that off on the top. I was able to ink this up without masking it, which was nice. I'm taking the exact same sentiment strip and I'm going to ink up the words as honey. So the whole sentiment reads your sweet as honey. Now I'm just adhering down my little images and I have this honey lacquer from Hero Arts. Obviously this one does not come in the kit either. And I'm just going to add it to the tops of my letters, kind of like the honey is dripping down off of them. Now if you do not have this, you could always color it and then use like a clear glaze to go over it to give it a honey look. Or I'm sure there are like Nuvo drops or some kind of color pop drops or something that might be a similar color. After that, I'm moving on to my next card. I am using Scattered Straw to start with, and this is a much smaller one. I am skipping over a lot of this because, you know, it's the same thing, just repeated. So I had two shades of yellow. I think I used Scattered Straw and Wild Honey for that, and then I am inking in with some black soot, just making a few black hexagons here and there. I do have to wipe off the stencil in between each inking because of how it covers up the lines because the stencil does have little lines where you can kind of line everything up. All right, fast forward ahead. I did ink up some of the areas with some embossing ink and I am using some Hero Arts gold glitter embossing powder to make some gold flakes, not gold flakes. Nope, <laughs> gold hexagons. And now I have this gold watercolor palette and I am using a couple shades of gold to make splatters. Again, using that same scripty sweet dye, I am just inking up various parts of the word with embossing ink, and I am dumping that same gold embossing powder on it, heating it up, and then I decided to go in with my yellow Distress Oxides and kind of cover over the bottom of it. Again, I have a little black shadow underneath, and then I'm going to stamp my sentiment, which will be have a, and then sweet, birthday. So these came from a different lawn fawn set, but there is several lawn fawn sets that have these exact words in it. So I didn't really feel like that was super important, but this one was quick and easy and it is done. Moving on to my final card, I used pinks. This time I used spun sugar, kitsch flamingo, and picked raspberry. The process is very much the same. I'm speeding it up, doing the various colors just because it's the same thing, just different colors. I did really like how this background turned out, and I do think I want to do some more in the future. Now I did stamp out the banner and the honeycomb, again, or the hive I should say, and for the banner I'm using R81, 83, and 85, and just alternating the colors, so this is very simple. The hive was colored the exact same way you'd seen before, and I'm going to take this little bundle stamp set from Lawn Fawn, and I'm going to stamp out the word welcome with my Wild Honey Distress Oxide ink. Now that they've been cut out, I am going to figure out exactly what I want to do with my card. I have some alphabet dies that I have used to cut out the word hive, and I am inking those up with the Wild Honey Distress Oxide. And now, here's where I figure out my placement. All the stuff that I use in this video will be linked in the description box, with the exception of the Hive 5 kit if it's not available anymore. Here I have one of the little dies from the tag set that came in the kit, and I've just inked it up with my Kitsch Flamingo ink. I also have some of the flowers that have been die cut from that same little die set that was in the kit, and I'm just coloring the centers with one of my yellow markers, and I am cupping the flowers in my hand to kind of make them have a little bit more dimension to them. I'm going to glue the centers in there and then adhere them to... Well, I gotta adhere some other stuff first, I guess. I'm gonna adhere my letters down first because that just seemed like it made the most sense to me. So before I do anything else, I'm gonna finish off the sentiment and I have this Smitty's ABC stamp set 
in my Lawn Fawn Hippo ink. And I'm going to stamp to the, using those letters. And so the whole sentiment reads, Welcome to the Hive. I thought that was a really cute baby card. I'm just adhering everything down flat, adhering my flowers down. I thought these were like a cute little addition. And then I had decided later that I needed to add some bees. So again with the bees, they were co colored exactly the same as before. But this time I'm using some of the little trails. And I'm just stamping those in the hippo ink. After that, this card is complete. So here is a look at the three cards I made using the new Lawn Fawn Kit Hive 5. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll be back with another video soon. Bye!